Okay, so I'm filming this TLDR by myself this week because Martina got really sick over the weekend and we're really worried that she's gonna lose her voice again so she's not gonna do any talking for now. And we're also gonna stop our screaming contests and also our loogie hawking contests and also our death model contests. Can't do any of those. Anyhow, I'm sure she'll be back next week so you could ask her about girly stuff like boobs again. Boobs. So this week's question is just for me. This question comes from Knight of Zexen and he asks, how big are video games in Korea? I know they have a big MMO fandom, but what about console gaming like you on the PS3? Skyrim. So as you might have told from our interview with Zaya, when I asked him about video gaming and PS3 and Skyrim, they didn't really understand Skyrim, but they understood PlayStation. Now console gaming isn't really that popular in Korea, unfortunately. It is a lot bigger in North America. I know in Canada at least, they got really big game stops in which you could walk in and just like wall the wall of video games. Here in Korea, if I want to get a PS3 game, they barely have any at the supermarkets. You go to Home Plus and they got like, 10 of them and they're really old and out of date. Some of them are from Japan. So for example, I couldn't get the Final Fantasy here in Korea. I had to get it back in Canada. And also the instruction booklets are in Korean. Not that I ever read instruction booklets, nor do I think anybody else actually reads instructional booklets. All video games just teach you how to play. That doesn't mean that video gaming culture isn't big here. It's quite huge, but it's more along the lines of PC gaming. Starcraft, Counter-Strike, Diablo now is huge. So lots of online PC gamings are huge here in Korea. They also have PC bongs, which literally just means PC room, so computer room. And they're pretty much just like, you could say cafes, just full of computers. And you could go there and you could use your email or you could browse the internet. But majority of people go there to play PC games with each other. And this is where all the StarCraft magic takes place. Now StarCraft is pretty freaking huge here. You might have seen our video long, long time ago when I tried to get into StarCraft in Korea, in which I got completely destroyed and humiliated and I never played it again. StarCraft is so big here that they actually have television channels dedicated to StarCraft. It's that intense. Now, that's not to say that console gaming doesn't exist here in Korea. It does. In fact, they actually have something really cool. They also have something called Pulsabongs, in which instead of a room full of computers, you have a room full of big televisions with a lot of different game consoles on them. So you could go there with your friends and for like three bucks an hour, you could play a whole bunch of like PlayStation and Xbox video games there. Seriously, like they got a wall full of a whole bunch of video games and you just pay three bucks and you could just like switch in games in and out and just play there. It seems like whenever we do go there to play the Pulse of Bong, the only game I ever see Korean people playing is soccer or FIFA. Actually, FIFA and soccer are the same thing, but there are different kinds of soccer games there, like Winning Eleven. But I don't really see people playing like a Street Fighter or like any Japanese RPGs like Final Fantasy or Skyrim. Why doesn't anybody play Skyrim here? Now they do have fighting games here as well, but I mostly see them played in arcades. So I see a lot of people play Tekken 6 or King of Fighters in the actual arcades, but I don't really see people playing them on consoles that much at the Pulse Bongs. There are a few people I've seen with Nintendo DS's and also very few people with PSP's and PlayStation Vita's because really most of it is just at the PC Bongs. I think there's a really big difference between like video game culture mentality here in which Korean video game mentality is more of a social experience. You usually go with your friends to the PC Bong and you all play Starcraft together, you all play Counter-Strike together. While the kind of video gaming that I'm used to is more Japanese style, like one player RPG game Games, you play by yourself and that's it. Really seems like two different systems here. Korea more social PCs, Japan more anti-social consoles. But then again, don't quote me on that. I don't live in Japan. I could only say this based off of the video games that I've played from Japan and that's my guess. Maybe they also have a big PC gaming culture there as well. I can't say yet because I don't live in Japan. Please don't take this as a gospel. I'm just guessing. All I can comment on is Korean video gaming. So yeah, that's it. There's a short rundown of what video games are like in Korea. So that's it for this week's TV. TLDR. If you have a question for next week's TLDR, leave it in the comment section below. Or if you don't have a question, make sure you read over the questions already asked and thumb them up because we have a much better chance of answering them if they're a good one. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs where we talk about video games and boobies. Wow, that last week's video on boobies got a lot of views. That's like almost our most viewed video ever. I think we need to talk about boobies more often, not about babies.